here we'll uh, talk about the wave guides and their uh, corresponding equations which are governing the wave guides now we have uh, shown here two sections of the wave guide one is the rectangular other is the circular and having the direction of propagation as z for both rectangular and circular wave guides these wave guides support te waves or tm waves that means if it is transverse electric wave that means electric field is transverse to the direction of propagation that means z is the of our t waves and for tm waves h z is zero okay it is true for both kinds of wave guides the relations which we are going, we are going to discuss here further are relations mainly with relation to the rectangular wave guide now the first point here is regarding the dominant mode of propagation what is this dominant mode of propagation most of the wave guides whether it's uh, rectangular or circular wave guide mostly we operate the wave guides in the dominant mode this dominant mode has some special features like it has the lowest cut off and it also has uh, helps to eliminate other modes or it can provide wider uh, range of uh, uh, frequencies without uh, other modes to interfere so for the dominant mode the rectangular wave guide the dominant mode is te10 uh for a rectangular wave, wave guide and for circular wave guide that is a te11 mode and what we notice here that uh, this is the mode having the lowest cut off frequency and this indicates here the different modes of uh, uh wave guides rectangular wave guides and their cut offs like t10 if i take a reference as t10 with respect to t10 how the other modes have their cut off like t01 and t20 modes have twice the cut off frequency of the uh, t10 mode and t11 and tm11 modes have uh, about three times the frequency of the cut off of te10 the dominant mode now this relation gives me the cut off frequency fc the cut off frequency 1 over 2 under root mu epsilon under root of m square by a square plus n square over b square m and n are the eigen numbers one is related to the y dimension of the wave guide other is with the narrow dimension a and b are the y and narrow dimension of a wave guide since this has a cut off frequency the guide has dominant mode has a cut off frequency it's also sometimes said to be a high pass filter that means it will not propagate energy below the cut off frequency now if we try to find the guide wave length the lambda within the wave guide the relation indicates here this lambda g is lambda not over under root of 1 minus lambda not over lambda c whole squared now what we notice here is this lambda g since lambda not is the free space wavelength this free space wavelength and lambda c is the cut off wavelength it is observed from this relation because this factor will be less than 1 so lambda g will be greater than lambda not that means the wave guides the uh, velocity the wavelength of the guide within the guide the wavelength is more than the free space wavelength that lambda g is greater than lambda 0 and the phase velocity vp similarly is greater than vc the free space velocity now the vp the phase velocity is given by omega by beta radian frequency divided beta the propagation constant this will be written as 
1 over mu epsilon, 1 over 1 minus omega c squared over omega squared. So this is the value of Vp and again you have to, I am re-stressing the point here that the phase velocity of the wave inside the wave guide is more than the its a speed which is which is which is the uh, I would say uh, with which the energy is propagating in the waveguide or the free space velocity. So it is greater than Vg as well as Vc the free space uh, value of uh, the uh, waveguide. Thank you.